Miyamoto Musashi, the Japanese swordsman and philosopher and absolute chad of history, has appeared in various anime and manga. Today I'm talking about some of those, with the start being based around the most common and most popular series he's appeared in, goes by the name Vagabond, which covers the story of Miyamoto going through life as a young man, pretty much getting exiled from his village and then going on the journey to be become the strongest swordsman. The current uh, manga is on hiatus and has been on hiatus for quite a while now with a total of 327 chapters at the recording of this video and it's based off the uh, novel known as Musashi so it has interlinking sections regarding that and it's also considered one of the greatest manga of all time with it winning various awards being highly rated by the fandom and being one of the top three sane in manga of all time alongside Berserk and Vinland Saga and our the protagonist of the story is our boy Musashi Miyamoto which is absolute craziness. The story starts off at him age 17 being exiled from his village as I mentioned and then later on he's in his 20s now at the current part and yep that's a very cool and that's the main uh, manga we get to see our boy Miyamoto in. The next manga I'm going to talk about that he appears in goes by the name Baki in particular Baki Do or Baki Dao however you want to say he appears in that series I recently reviewed that whole arc on this channel so if you want to check out that video make sure to do that but this is the Miyamoto that's presented in Baki so he was brought back to life as or from the dead as a clone and not just a regular clone a crackhead clone that became the main antagonist of this whole arc which was like 189 chapters I believe to come in and fuck up destroy about 90% of the characters that were seen throughout the series of Bucky. It really, you know, drills in the point of how insane many parts of Bucky is. And you know, he even comes in and just kills some main characters. For example, he came in and ended the life of Retsu, one of the most beloved characters of the fans for many years, for over 30 years. Retsu being, has been there since the start and he was killed off by this absolute mad lad. He had a draw against the monster of Bucky, Yudro, and he had various other this in crazy insane things that he accomplished throughout his run in the story all while looking like an absolute crackhead crazy dude and then his biggest accomplishment was actually causing Bucky to have extreme murderous intent. Throughout the series Bucky has shown not to have that much murderous intent throughout many fights and not really getting 100% serious but one part during this when Miyamoto was gonna finish or kill Haniyama, Bucky stepped in saying he would murder Miyamoto if he did any more showing one of the first times and one of the most serious times we've seen Bucky throughout the story. So that's uh, Bucky's version of Miyamoto. Next we have Miyamoto in Fate, in particular Fate Grand Order where of course you know, you know Fate, Miyamoto of course is you know a female waifu, a super thick female waifu I might mention that, you know that's just how fate works, all these famous people, all these historical figures are turned into you know extra thick waifus and you know I'm not complaining you know just look at all this greatness and that yeah that's the fate version of Miyamoto and then the last one to talk about in today's video is from Sumatra no Valkyrie or Record of Ragnar, whatever you know it by, where Miyamoto Musashi appears in one of the fighters backstories and one of the side parts of the story which is through Sasaki Kojo, who also appears in all the uh, anime and manga that I mentioned in this video, who pretty much, we got history how Miyamoto was victorious in uh, Sasaki's life, how he was never defeated with 61 duels and all that, and how he defeated Sasaki Kojo, all those battles, but now over time, since Sasaki's death, that he's been training to finally surpass Miyamoto, and there's also a chance, there's maybe a chance and maybe just a rumor, but I heard that uh, the creator of Sumatra of Valkyrie may be working on a uh, pretty much spin-off manga that covers the story of Musashi Miyamoto or there's been some leaks, uh, I'm not 100% sure how accurate it is but it may be a spin-off manga similar to what they did with Lubu, it may be for, for Sasaki Kojo or for Miyamoto himself which would be pretty cool. But that's pretty much everything for today's Miyamoto video, hope you enjoyed, if you did you know make sure to subscribe, join the Discord and all that good stuff and that's it guys, peace.